In this video, I've got a 99 Cadillac Escalade. Unfortunately, somebody broke in and stole the stereo, so I'm gonna rebuild it so that that way Slim can enjoy his truck again. After cutting out this piece, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it to allow for a little bit more space in the back for a new double dent to fit in there. Next, I'm gonna add some brackets to the sides of the stereo. These will help hold it in place when the vehicle's moving. I'm gonna put it in there and check for fit. Since it fit pretty good, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the rest of the dash and install some plastic ABS pieces to kind of fill in the gaps and holes that were left over. This head unit is definitely bang for your buck on a budget. If you're trying to get a decent double dent in your vehicle for a really low price, uh, sometimes eBay is the way to go. With the rest of the trim ring reinstalled, the unit looks pretty good. It's not quite as good as a factory unit, but it definitely looks a lot better than how it came in. This unit takes a really long time to load, but works pretty good once it's on. On this project, I didn't have to use any fiberglass resin or Bondo. The only thing I used is some two-part epoxy to make sure that the plastic stays in place. To add an extra touch of class, I bought some black light LED right there where your feet are to light up those crispy white shoes. I used a momentary switch connected to a latching relay on the radio's auto antenna wire. That way, as long as the stereo is on, the lights will stay on as soon as you hit the switch. And they shut off as soon as the radio turns off. So you can turn it off with the key or with just turning the stereo off. Oh yeah, I did the back seat too. Sexy, right? Well, there you have it. It was a quick and easy project. Probably took about two hours in order to complete everything. And boy, was my customer happy. Check me out on the other side.